So let's get into it. So task number two. So once you finish off that first task of the pre-screening, task number two is what we call an induction or orientation report. So if I just quickly open that up so you can have a look at that. This you can type straight in. So you don't need to, like after you do that first one, all the rest you can just type straight in. Cool. So this is a report talking about how um, like how they went throughout their pre-screening. Cool. So we're gonna break this up into like three paragraphs. Yeah. yeah. And um and you're just gonna like let yeah, just just each one of the paragraphs, just make sure that you you kind of That's give it detail. Cool. So you kind of paragraph one, you're gonna talk about the results of their pre-screening there and their fitness appraisal. So pretend that I don't have like I'm not gonna have that that um their like their their like how how they how they went in their pre-screen. I don't have that piece of paper in front of me. I don't no. have the piece of paper how they went in in their results. So you need to put in a paragraph summarizing it all. So then I can just read that and that will then summarize how they went in their pre-screening and how they went in um in their fitness approach. Does that make sense? Yeah, heaps. Yeah, cool. So in that one, the big thing, big ticket items that I'm looking for are how they went in their exercise, like what, what the exercise risk score is. Are they a low, medium, or high risk client? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff stuff like what are their training goals? Um, what are their availabilities to train? Uh, looking at um, uh, like exercise history, like overall what they like and dislike about exercise, their barriers to exercise. So you're pretty much just going through that pre-screening and picking out the really important things and then just summarising it all into, um, into a paragraph. Cool. And then yeah. the other one is just how they went in their fitness testing. So, like, again, your opinion. So, for example, Leon um, in his standing pike test scored, like, a, a 57. Yeah, I believe that for Leon that is a great score. Um, he's a male over the age of 30. Yeah, and whatever. Cool. So you're just giving your opinion on how you thought that client went in those, in those fitness testing. Cool. Make sense? Yeah. All right, question two, is, is there any further testing that that client should do? So what that question is asking, if they've got a fitness goal, so I want to improve my strength, we didn't really do any testing on strength. So you uh, might say, oh, look, Leon's goal was to, he wants to improve his, um, his like leg strength. So uh, another test that we could do in the future might include like a 5RM squat, you know what I mean? And the reason why you think that would be a good test for me to do or for your client to do in the future. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then the third, third part of this uh, kind of orientation report is um, the types of training which you think is going to be required to help improve um, improve yeah, yeah. the future. Yeah, sweet. So with this question, yeah, um, with this part, we're going to use the FIT principle. So... Frequency, so how many days a week do you think the client needs to train to improve their current fitness levels and achieve their goals? What intensity they need to train at is their eye. The first T of the fit principle is the time, so how long they need to train for, what are their reps, sets, and load for that training session, or those yeah. training sessions are gonna, they're going to be a part of, and then the type, so what type of training that they're going to do. What was the first T again? Time. 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 So time is how long they train for and then their reps, sets and load and their rest periods. Cool. So it's kind of the structure of the class. All right. With this question here, Georgia, C, we're going to be copying this literally like and then pasting it into another part of this um, case study. So do a really good job with that question, that, 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 part, that part C, yeah, because we're going to use that like two or three times throughout the case study so if you do a good job here then you don't have to redo it again and okay. then you don't have to redo it again so just add detail for that 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 answer part c okay cool cool yeah. 
Sweet. Any questions? No. No? Makes sense? Yes. Awesome.